This is gonna be a quick video, but I basically just wanna do a public service announcement to tell you to watch the bad guys. Especially if you have some kids and you're looking for a way to kill a couple of hours, this is a good one. The Bad Guys is based on the kids' book series, which we in fact own, and we didn't even see this movie in theaters because we were in the process of moving across the country. Uh, and I kind of slept on it, I'm gonna be honest. The trailers weren't very enticing. They had Billie Eilish's song, duh, bad guy, which was already a little bit played out in a bunch of other you know, forms of media. So I'm like, okay, this doesn't look very interesting or inspiring. But it was free on Peacock, I believe, and we have that stupid streaming platform, so we're like, well, if it's here, let's check it out on the cock. And check it out on the cock we did. So if you have the app, go ahead and fire it up on P right now. It's available. And I have to say, this is a movie that's charming, it's deliciously delightful, and it's colorful. It's got plenty of action, tons of laughs, some fun characters, and a lot of unexpected twists and turns. There are expected ones, too. Don't get me wrong, there are expected ones, but I like that the movie knows you're gonna know. The writers are sharp enough to say, we know you know what we're doing, but then we're gonna do this and take it further. And it got me every time. I was like, wow, this is really well written. Good job, guys. Premise is incredibly simple. It's Ocean's Eleven for the whole family. The main protagonist is Wolf, played by Owen Wilson. Nope. Sam Rockwell, who sounds exactly like Owen Wilson in this. I couldn't get it out of my head. Wolf is the George Clooney of the group. He gets things done, he's the mastermind. And then you have all the other animals that on their face are supposed to be bad. They're supposed to be scary, evil. You have shark, you got a tarantula, you got a piranha, you got a Spacey, you got a Cosby, you got a Weinstein, they're all there. Maybe, maybe not the last few I said. And we got some solid voice work by Craig Robinson, Zazie Beats, Aquafina. Aquafina, um, something about her voice just annoys the living shit out of me, but here it, it plays. Here she is fine, and that's a win. It's an absolute win. These animals are the best of the best. They elicit fear, they toy with their prey, they rob banks right in front of the police officers. They're cocky, they're confident, and they casually get it done. They look good doing it. Eventually, though, Wolf will feel emotions he never felt before. And as the story progresses, he's gonna be challenged, he's gonna have obstacles to overcome, and he's gonna have to decide what's more important at the end of the day. Doing the right thing, or doing the thing that feels good, but might be bad. There's a Taylor Swift song about that, I believe. I think I did something bad, but it felt so good. If you have Peacock and you got kids, this is a no-brainer. Should you throw it on? Duh. If you don't have kids, it's still worth watching. I think it's a fun time. Hit it up on the cock. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Just go ahead and uh, throw a hook up there, pull that subscribe button down, and then punch it in the face. And let me know in the comments if you watched this and you also thought it was a refreshing little film that you weren't expecting. You were pleasantly surprised, as they say. I'm here. I read. Put it down in the comments. Like do other things, and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Duh. What's that sexy animated fox lady? Oh yes, thank you for reminding me. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, or you can become a member right here via the YouTube join button. Um, it's a, like a monthly thing. You give a dollar, five dollars. It's a membership. It's a, you're, you're part of something special. Part of, you're part of me. Uh, it's another, it's like a Katy Perry song.